we're gonna work on the M of PC Med. What is the M? Movement, what kind of movement? Power. No, it's not power. PC Med, so you guys remember PC Med, acronym for the five ways to break down your opponent. And that's power, consistency, uh, ball movement, that's the M. And the E is take the ball early, and D is for depth, okay? So remember that, you guys, that's how you beat your opponents. That's how your opponents will beat you. It's one of those components or all five of those components, okay? So M is for ball movement. And ball movement basically means the change of direction, okay? So uh, when you're hitting cross courts, all right, that's only one direction, right? So for example, Manon, uh, just go uh, in the box with me and we'll just hit short court, cross courts, all right? So we'll go here and then we'll just do short court, right? And this is just one direction, all right? There's nothing, there's nothing about ball movement in this, okay? But if I suddenly take it down the line, that is a change of direction. That's, uh, that's going up the line. And uh, is that a risk? Is that a risk to do in tennis when you're changing direction? Yeah. Yeah? Why is that? Because it's at an angle and you might go down the line, so a higher part of the net. Yeah, it's a higher part of the net. Uh, basically, it is a risk, all right? Not as risky as what we did last week where we're trying to blast the balls with power, right? Um, it's not as risky as taking the ball early as well, but there is a slight risk to doing that. So when is a good time? So if you're in a cross court battle, right? Cross court battle, boom, 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 10 shot, 10 shot rally cross courts. Uh, when is a good time to change direction and go up the line on that? Good, when the ball is short, you have an opportunity to, you know, you know, you want that risk, there's, there's risk to that, but that's okay, you want to go for that opportunity. Any, anything else? Yes, that's very good. I haven't actually thought about that. Yeah, if they're coming to the net, you need to pass them. Uh, you kind of almost have no choice but to change direction most of the time, okay? All right, sometimes you could change direction just on a gamble, all right? You're just gambling. You just want to just go up the line, all right? You want to change direction there too. Or uh, basically, uh, you could change direction when you see an open space or when you just feel the time is right, all right? Uh, when you just feel it's good to just change direction, you do it. But you never want to change direction when you are impatient, when you just want to go for it, right? Or when you're in an awkward spot, all right? So when you see an opponent uh, off to the side and you see this big open space and you're kind of at an awkward angle, all right? You're kind of you're kind of around here, and you can't exactly uh, set your feet right. Is that a good time to change direction? Even though you see, so Monant, go over there to the right on the, yeah, go farther. There you go. Go farther. Go farther. All right. Yeah. Okay. Your feet are kind of tangled. You're kind of over here. You see a big open space. Is that a good time to change direction, you think? That's good. Probably not, probably not. Yeah, probably not, okay? Because likely, yeah, you'll lose control, your feet are not right. So it's okay, you just go back to where Manon is or go cross court, he'll obviously get it back. You may lose an opportunity because it's such a big open space, but um, you never want to go for that change of direction when you're not completely ready, when, you're, when your feet are just not entangled or something is not right, okay? You can do it when you want to gamble, right? Sometimes you just got to gamble, roll the dice, but uh, most of the time, if you do that, you're going to commit an error, okay? All right, so that's the change of direction, ball movement, and it's very important to have top spin whenever you want to change direction. Top spin is so crucial with consistency, with depth, and also with the ball movement, change of direction, okay? So 
We'll do this for most of you guys. So every coach has this kind of drill too, where there's a lot of movement, a lot of change of direction. So I will go, so Manon, you'll be the demonstrator too. I will go cross court and you will go down the line. Okay, on a drill. We'll just stay in the center here. Okay, so my job is to go cross court. Okay, and your job is to go down the line. So let's see if this works. So cross court, down the line, good. Cross court, down the line. Cross court, down the line. All right, pretty good. All right, so we'll do probably 10 minutes of that. Okay, and then we'll switch roles. So I'll do down the line, you do cross court, okay? So cross court, down the line. Oh, cross court, down the line. I get back. Oh, good try, good try, it's all right. No, that was good. Made me run for cross court, okay? Do 10 minutes of that. Then we'll do something where it's side to side to one side, okay? So I'm gonna run Manon around side to side and Manon will try to just hit it back to me here on this side, okay? So I'm working with change of direction just on one side and he's working on just getting it to one spot, okay? There you go. So I'm gonna work them side to side if I can. Oh, good try. Let's do it again, let's see. So I'll just work them side to side, okay? There you go. He's moving side to side. He's getting, he's getting to me on just one side. Good. See how well you do side to side or just going on one spot. Can you go on one spot? Okay, that's also very important in tennis if you want to break down someone's stroke, right? Not bad. Not bad on that one. Thank you, Manon. Very good demonstration. Okay. Okay. So any questions on ball movement or the drills? Good question. So we just want to turn our shoulders a little bit, right? So a little bit more open on the cross court, a little bit more closed on the down the line, okay? And really just, you could still hit it with just changing your racket face, right? If, you, if I just kind of change it there, it'll go cross court there down the line. But if you want to be more prepared for it, you do got to turn your shoulders slightly differently, okay? So, and then the contact point may be a little later, okay? So down the line, you want to make it just a little later here on the cross court a little bit earlier, okay? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TopspinAdrian and check out some of my other videos. See you next time.